What we're showing here now is how to install a conduit L. Now if you have a casing that looks like this, you're going to have a piece of conduit that's going to, that runs down the side of your casing and inside that conduit are the electrical wires that go to your home. So what we have to do is remove this cover because this is where our deep well hand pump is going to mount. It's going to mount on top of this casing. So we can't have the wires coming out the top and down the side of the casing. So, again, you're going to make sure you've turned the electricity off to your electric submersible. We're going to unscrew the cover and take it off. You'll, you won't need this cover anymore, so you can put that away. So typically, down inside your casing, you'll see a bundle of wires pushed down in there. So we're just going to pull that up. And what we need to do is we need to cut these wires. Hence why it's very important that you've turned the electricity off. Because we don't want anybody getting shocked. So you're going to cut the wires with a pair of cutters and now we can drill a hole in the side of the casing because now we're going to take the wires out from the inside of the casing to the outside inside this conduit L and we'll set our conduit L back on the same piece of, of uh, PVC conduit that goes to your home. So in order to do that we recommend that you go down between four and six inches from the top of the casing. So if we go down four inches from the top, somewhere in this space is where we're going to drill the hole. So you can just push your conduit off to one side. That'll easily be done. There's lots of slack in that. And we're going to take a center punch and a hammer. You've measured down four to six inches. Just pick a spot. You're going to center punch the hole. After we've punched, marked a center punch in the casing, we're going to take the hole saw, put in a, either a battery operated or an electric drill and we're going to line our drill bit on the center punch and we're going to drill a hole through the side of this casing. While you're doing this, you should have some sort of non-petroleum based lubricant to just keep applying lubricant as you're drilling the hole. The, the hole saw will drill much easier. Again, this is an inch and an eighth hole saw. It's always a good idea to wear safety glasses when you're drilling a hole through the side of the steel casing just so none of those bits of steel could get in your eyes. So that's the next process. We're going to drill that hole. After that hole is drilled out, then we can install the plastic conduit L. So you're going to go down, in, down your conduit, your outside conduit, and cut it off. Cut that piece of plastic because this adapter now is going to sit on top of your conduit. And the hole that you've drilled inside of the casing, this threaded nipple, you take one of these lock washers off, leave one on, you're going to push it through the hole, and then you can take your lock nut and screw it on the back side and tighten it up. It's always a good idea to put a bead of silicone right around this nut so that it makes a nice watertight seal. So just put a bead of silicone around that nut, push it into the hole, and then lock it on the back side. Then your conduit L is going to be in place. Now we're drilling out the hole in the side of the casing with the inch and an eighth hole saw. And you drill all the way through, and then you pull this saw out. Notice when you're done that the slug that you have taken out of the hole remains inside the hole saw, so it won't drop down inside the casing. So we can dig that out later and, and throw it away. Now we should take just a cloth and wipe away the excess metal shavings. Clean that surface all up good. It's always a good idea to take a round file and file out the inside edges of the casing to get those rough burrs off. Then we'll just clean out the inside. Be careful when you're doing this because there can be some sharp edges. You don't want to you want to cut your fingers in the process. We've cleaned this all up. Now we can insert the conduit L. Now that we have the hole drilled and all cleaned out, you're going to take your conduit L, remove one of the nuts off the conduit L so that we can slide this in the hole. And what we want to do now is put our plastic conduit up beside the adapter and we're going to mark that conduit where we want to cut it. Now take the conduit L back out, set it off to the side, and now we're going to cut the plastic pipe. The best way to do that, and probably the safest way, is to use a tubing cutter. We're going to place the tubing cutter over the pipe, line the tubing cutter up with the line, just like that. Okay, we've turned it around until we've cut through the plastic. Now you can see that we've severed the two and your wires are inside this conduit. Very typical 
um, submersible pump installation, electric submersible. So now the next step, we got to get rid of this piece of plastic. So we're going to take some wire cutters, just spread the wires apart that are sticking the excess wires up here. Again, I can't stress this enough, make sure that you have turned the electricity up to your electric pump before you cut these wires. Use a pair of insulated wire cutters so the handles are insulated and we're just going to snip these wires. We'll show you in a minute how to put them back together. So we've snipped the wires. We're going to need these, these, we got lots of extra down here, which you'll have lots of extra down inside your casing. And then we're going to pull this piece of plastic off and discard it. Okay, the next step is we're going to install the conduit dowel. So it's a good idea to get a Phillips screwdriver and let's take this watertight cover off. Makes it easier for you to pass the wires through. Now we're going to slide this conduit dowel down over the wires. Having the cover off makes it a little easier to feed the wires in. So we'll put a little hook in the bottom of the wires, pass them up through. and feed the wires out through. It's easier if you pull them out this way and then pass them through the nipple. There, now we can slide conduit L right down over the wires. Eventually it's going to go all the way down until it lines up with your plastic pipe. We're going to place the adapter, push the adapter, you don't have to glue this, just push it down in and we're, we're secure. Now, again, push the plastic pipe out away from the casing, pass the wires through the hole. Now if you take some clear silicone and just put a bead of silicone around the back side of this nut, and then if you like, you could put a bead of silicone right around the outside perimeter of the hole. Now we can push the conduit L in, push it against the, the silicone, take the other nut, you're going to reach down inside, pass it down over the wires, and screw the nut onto the nipple. Then we reinstall the watertight cover with your Phillips screwdriver, and you're back in business. Next thing, after we have our wire pushed through the conduit L inside the casing, we need to reconnect the wires going down to the electric submersible. Wires are always color-coded, so make sure you put red with red, green with green, black with black. You might have wire with different colors, but just make sure you match the colors and you won't have any trouble at all. So then if you just take a pair of wire strippers, we'll use these strippers to strip the wire off. Expose the bare wire, there's the red wire. We're going to connect the other red wire going down to the submersible. Okay, there are two ways to make this electrical connection to each one of these wires. You can either use a heat shrink this is an electrical heat shrink tube. If you're familiar with these, this is a great way to reconnect the wires. Okay, you slide the heat shrink tube over the wire. There's a little wire connector. You place that over the end of the wire and then crimp it with your pliers. And then you install the other end of the wire in the other end of the connector and crimp that off solid with a pair of pliers. Then you slide the heat shrink tube, centering the connector between the length of the tube and then just take a heat gun working from the center to the outside, heat it up with a heat gun, this will all shrink, there will be some silicone ooze out of the ends and your wire is connected. That is a quick description on how to do the electrical heat shrink. If you don't want to go, if you're not comfortable with that method, you can simply wire nut the wires together. I would recommend that you squirt some clear silicone, fill the end of that wire nut with silicone very typical wire connection. We're going to put the two together, two red wires, put our wire nut over the top, tighten it securely. And you're going to have all kinds of silicone in there. So that will give you a good watertight connection on that wire nut. This is probably the easiest way to reconnect these wires and this is perfectly fine. You don't have to do the heat shrink method. Now once you have all three wire nuts connected, we're going to connect the two green wires, two black wires, the same method we used to, to tie the two red wires. You should take some black electrical tape and just wrap the wire with the electrical tape. This gives you one more bit of assurance that we have a good tight connection. Rip off the tape. You're going to do each wire the same way. Now your wires are reconnected. So we can stuff these wires back down inside the casing. 
Now you're ready to begin the, the installation of your deep well hand pump.